welcome to Restorations. And today I'm going to show you how to build cornhole boards out of some scrap material out here in the shop. So, you guys ready for this journey? Let's get to it. Now that we got our pocket holes drilled, now we're going to start putting together the frame. And so we're going to be using the clamp to keep the boards nice and tight because if you know you put pocket holes in, the wood has sometimes a tendency to move and shift. It's okay if you're just building like a, a, a shop, you know, project. But when you're building something that you potentially can go to someone, you want to make sure everything is nice and flat and level. Um, so we're going to be putting in two and a half inch um, pocket hole screws, screws on the front and back. Let's do this. Okay, I'd like to note that when you're using uh, scrap wood to do any project, you may run into the point of warping. <laughs> um, so this is why I got the clamp here because it kind of warps out a little bit, and I got a little little uneven point. But we're gonna we're gonna as we uh, place down the board, we're gonna you know do a little pressing to make sure that, that the uh, the board kind of secures in a certain way that'll help the the natural evolution of the board to just kind of flatten out itself. It's going to be okay. Now, if you were doing this for a client or, or you know a customer, then you go to the go to the box store and get the straightest two by fours you can find. You know, make sure you take your time. 
pick out the two by fours that you need and, and then come do it. That way you won't have any uh, warping or having to use the clamping like I'm doing to do this. But being that this cornhole board is for me, hey, we're all good. It's all good. Now, what we're using today is an uh, inch and a half, half uh, brad nails, and we're going to brad nail this all the way around. So I got my uh, brad nailer, and we're just, just going to go about doing the business. So, ready? Let's do it. Now note, um, you can, I use brad nails for this, but you can screw this down. You can actually use um, finishing nails, um, the um, you know, backer nails uh, that have the serrated grips, anything that you can use, put down. But if you're gonna use screws or finishing nails, you gotta make sure you get them as flush as possible because you don't want anything snagging the, uh, the bags as it's sliding across the board. So just finishing nails, they just disappear into the wood and they hold tight so let's get the next one done all right what you just saw me do is do a flush cut with my flush bit route on my router here and um that's to make sure that the board on the top board is actually flush with the boards on the bottom now on this particular one, the corner here was not flush. So I used a flush bit to cut it. Now if you don't have a router with a flush bit, um, you can easily take a, a, a sander. If you have a sander with um, like 60 grit sandpaper, sand it down till you get it to, to flushness. Or you can, um, you know, if you're really good and handy with like a, a coping saw or a, uh, or a, you know, a hand saw, you can just actually uh, cut it off like that. Okay, once you drill the holes, you basically just need to lop off enough of the material so that the leg will rotate on the screw to an upright position. So, when we look here, we see we have this leg already in, and the bolt in is bolted, and now the leg is straight in the upright position, and you just turn it down, and then we bring it back up. Now, I mean, some of you want to be uh, more of a custom job and round the edges and everything, 
that works too. But as long as the legs can rotate on the axis that is and, and come to a straight point, that is what's, what's needed. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get to the point where we need to cut the, uh, the angle on the board. So, let's get to it.
we are basically complete. Uh, looking good here with our nice Steelers emblem on here. Now, I sanded this down with 240 grit sandpaper. Then I followed it up with a high gloss uh, black paint on here. However, it's smooth, but it's not smooth enough. Oh. So I'm going to add a, some high gloss poly on this to make it even smoother. So you're going to have to be very accurate when you're throwing uh, bags at this bad boy because uh, if you hit just wrong, they're just going to slide right off. So let's get to it. Now, as you can tell, I am a Steelers fan, and that cornhole set is looking really good and is ready for the next cookout. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Restorations, and I hope that you liked uh, what you saw, you got some good tips. And if you did, hit that like button, and then subscribe, and help out the channel. We appreciate it very much, and uh, as always, we thank you for watching another episode of Restorations. God bless.